What's up, it's Nez and hey friendos, welcome back to Wandersong. Last episode we got bamboozled, we weren't meant to save the world. Apparently this girl is the hero, and she's meant to bring about the destruction of the world. Why are we playing as her now? Let's find out. Can she sing? She can't sing! She can use her sword! Oh wait, holy shit! This is a sword from the dream! It's the one where we grabbed it, tried to use it on the monster, and it didn't fucking work. And then the rainbow girl told us that we weren't meant to be a hero. <gasps> it all makes sense now. Jeez, the hero prophesies. To bring the end of the world, apparently. What are these? What are those? Crystals? Her sword is very, very... Whoa! Oh shit, she's overpowered. Can we not, you know, hurt these monsters? They're not doing anything to us, they're just... Oh fuck, I'm getting so many achievements by just killing these bats. What the fuck? Oh! These bats didn't do anything to hurt us! She's too overpowered! Oh god. Why are you killing all these bats, hero? Why do you want to end the world? Psst, hey, Audrey. Don't forget. You can point your sword straight up to charge it with lightning. Ugh, shut up. I would have figured that out myself. Oh, okay. She's even mean to the rainbow girl, and she fell into the pit because of us. She deserved that. So she can charge her sword like that. What kind of hero is mean? Oh, fuck. Um, hmm. I got another achievement for falling down the pit or charging my lightning, but how do we cross on over there? Ah, wait. Wait. Charge it. Then aim. Oh, what? Charge it! Aim! This girl in her sword. She terrifies me so. Jump over here. The bats! They don't do anything wrong. Why are you hurting them so much? Dude! I think this game is so self-aware that it's actually giving us so many achievements just by beating shit up. Kinda like a real adventure game now, whatever that means. Yeah! Huh. Yeah! I'm getting so many achievements! What the fuck? Uh, I'm going past you. Bye. Oh, wait. How do I charge this up? Like that? Bye bye. Up we go. Up we go. Over here. Are we in another Overseer castle? I don't want to kill another Overseer! Well, I don't want her to kill another Overseer. It was never our fault. Oh! Ah, okay. You stay here. Go over there. Up. Oh! So many more bats! I'm trying to attack you guys. Come here. Take that! Charge this up. Over there. Ah, okay. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Okay, we're in. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Attack! Oh, snap! Oh! What was that? Oh! Okay. There are actual snakes here. We're not too overpowered. Take that. Well. We lost two of our crystals. What do we need to do here? Hmm. Maybe it should raise it for us. Charge it. Charge it. Maximum charge. Ah, I see. Okay, let's do that one more time. Why are we playing an actual adventure game now? All I wanted to do was sing. Charge? Nope. No taking us out. 
Hello? Overseer? I really don't want to hurt anyone. But we're being- <gasps> No! No! It's the bird! No! We're gonna kill him! We're in the Queen of the Winds castle! No! Can't I just leave him? Oh, great! Another human! You here to be all loud and annoying like the last one? That sure was a riot. Fat lot of good they did. The Queen of the Winds is doing just awful, if you're wondering. Acting all dark and spooky. She keeps... Birthing. Monsters. It's so gross. She's getting worse every day. This place just isn't the same- Ah, shut up. I'm here to take care of the Queen of the Winds. Tell me where she's hiding. Like, take care of... Oh, jeez. Well, I... I'm obligated to stop you. Shut up! Okay. I see where this is going. And I don't want to be here for it. Just try not to make it painful for her, you know? She's really so sweet. Or she used to be. No! No! The queen didn't do anything! I don't want to hurt the queen! No! coming from where is she coming from oh I don't want to hurt you queen you were nice enough to teach us a song oh fuck okay we didn't get that ah! queen stop stop queen this isn't like you you just wanted to be left alone in your castle! This isn't like- Oh, God! Where are you, Queen? No! I don't want to do this! No! Two down. Yeah, girl. You the bomb. I know, right? Rainbow Heart. Can I ask you something? Yeah, girl. I just don't get why you never told me. We were going to end the world. Until that bard was around. It's comp- Not that it's bothering me. <laughs> I was just curious. It's complicated. Sorry you found out in such a lame way. I'm not really supposed to tell the hero that. Until like, the very end. Cause it's hard for normies to understand why it's important. Normies? You know, like, mortals? Your planet being doomed is kinda sad. But we're clearing the path for a new, better universe. Hey, I completely get it. Nothing normie about me. Someone has to stop the spread of the Overseer's corruption and kill them before they all become horrible monsters. But the queen wasn't a horrible monster! You're the one that labeled her that! May as well be me, right? Rainbow Heart, that's why you're the hero. Yeah, girl. <laughs> yeah, girl. We're a team, right? So anything you can tell the bard, you can tell me too. Noted! Aight, well, I'm out. I'll hit you up later, okay? What the fuck? I didn't want to kill the queen! Act 
four. March of the Happy Factory. Gel? You okay, bud? Halo B. Cool if I call you that. No! Get the fuck out of our room! Lil B? Still mad, huh? You lied to me. You said I could save the world. But you never really believed in me. And the Earth Song doesn't even work. It could work. It just never has. Learning it is more than just going around collecting stuff. It's like all spiritual. Whole world in harmony type stuff. And that part is really hard. It gets depressing. Watching people try and fail to save their world. I've seen it play out so many times. Why do you even care? Because I like you. And even though I didn't think you'd make it, you proved me wrong. You're special, Lil B. I'm done not believing in you. Even if Audrey's the hero. Well, I don't think I ever want to see her again. Yeah, she can be a little intense. But she's actually really cool. But what about us? We're cool. If you two hung out more, you'd totally love her. Trust me. Okay, I'm gonna get back to her now. Why don't you get out of bed at least? Don't give up, Lil B. Peace. What a bitch! She keeps leading us on, thinking we can save the world. Is it even possible? If I oh, hello. Who are you? Are you our grandmama? Are you our mom? Oh, ho, ho. hello, Muffin. Uh, hi, Mom. You're finally out of your room, and you look terrible. Are you going out with that look on your face? I don't know. Well, don't. You look so much cuter with a smile. Thanks, Mom. Thanks. That's more like it. Your friend Miriam wanted to speak with you. She said she'd be outside of town. Why don't you go find her? Thanks, Mom. Thanks. Oh. It's snowing outside. Is this our hometown? Good morning! How are you doing today, friend? Ah! Uh, aha! Why, I'm glad you asked! I'm Happy Kid, the newest toy sensation! The latest and greatest from Mr. Baron! Produced at the Factory of Smiles, the Happy Factory! Get a Happy Kid and you can have a friend just like me! You don't know Happy until you know Happy Kid! Buy your happiness today at participating stores! Uh-huh! Aha! Have a happy, happy day, friend! Yeah... No thanks. He's just staring into our soul. Okay. We're singing so quietly, it's so sad! Miriam? Miriam? Oh. Whoa, wait! Uh, hello? The time is changing. Do we have to be outside by a certain time? Clock Tower Pub. Hello? Anyone in here? Hi there, barkeep. The factory here determines the schedule of everything. The flow of people in and out during the day and night. It's the lifeblood of the city. Vlad. So, the factory. What do we have to do at the factory? Is there an overseer there? Can we save the overseer from getting killed? I don't want Audrey getting to him. Gift house. Hi there. Hey, welcome to like, the gift house. We have like, all the greatest toys for sale here. I'm not interested in but including Happy Kid, the most popular toy ever. Produced right here in the factory, whoa. Take Happy Kid home with you today and put a smile on your family's face or whatever. Mm-hmm. All these happy kids around town are really starting to freak me out. 
What's over here? What is up here? Hello. Hi. You're very creepy, to say the least. Well, hi there. You look young and able. Hee-hee. <laughs> Want to work a shift in the factory today? Oh, my. Your head's bending in a way that it shouldn't. No thanks. Uh, okay, we have nothing to do, actually. Oh, goody! Come right this way! Uh -huh. That face. Here at this factory, we make Happy Kid! It's the happiest kid of all, and everyone's favorite toy! You could say we're like a big, happy family! <laughs> Son of a bitch. Hello? Oh, he just, oh, ho, ho, ho. Hi. Hee hee, I'm so excited. You'll have a great time working here, I just know it. He skitters off like a little bug. That face, it is glowing with a menacing evil I have never seen before. Just a bit further now. Uh huh. Hello? Hello? Oh. This looks like a castle. Here we are! Isn't it wonderful? Modern machinery working in perfect harmony. It fills me with such joy. Well, let me show you what your job is. First, take a piece of coal from this pile. Second, throw it into the furnace. Uh, and repeat. Can you remember that? Can you explain it again? I got it, I guess. Okay, make us proud. Uh, oh. Oh, he's just watching over us. He's just watching over us. Let's pick up some coal and then bring it to the furnace. Yes, we're doing our work. So we just throw it in like that. Oh. Feed the furnace with the souls of the damned. Feed the furnace with the souls of the damned. Feed the furnace with the souls of the damned. Apparently, I threw that in the wrong direction. Yeah. Throw. Uh, pick this up. Throw. I can hear his menacing laughter from way down here. Throw! Uh, he's so creepy. Can we find a way out? No, we can't. Do I just keep doing this for the rest of my life? Can't I just go back to singing? Is this a metaphor for a dead-end job you got for sacrificing the arts? That's it! Your shift is done! Now let's see how you did. On the prize screen! Prize screen? Level 1? Baby, it's cold outside. Cold's picked. Cold's burnt. Uh. Uh. What, well, um, level up? Lamer farmer. Level 3? The little engine that's cold. Uh, wow, great job. I know you're dying to stay and work here forever. Uh, <laughs> no. But a good worker needs rest. Come back tomorrow. What the fuck was that and why are we carrying coal? Uh, hello? Hi? Da! This town sucks. It's too cold and full of smog. And that stupid factory is always running. Nobody understands. Winston, why are you sad? Also, can we just throw away that piece of coal? Last time? What is this? Oh, evening. Just doing my nightly sweeps. Us late nighters got a special bond, eh? You ever got a chance to meet the astronomer? She's at Beth's diner from midnight to 5 a.m. every night. Never talked to her myself, and I'd give her a good no and nod when we pass. Hmm, the best diner past midnight. Okie dokie. Hmm. Chismess outskirts. Is that where she's supposed to be? 
Alrighty, let's go and meet Miriam. Miriam? Miriam? There you are. Thanks for saving me, by the way. Well, looky who it is. Finally done with all your moping? No, not yet. Oh. Um, what brings you out here? Think you might be ready to meet the next overseer? There's an overseer here. Uh, yeah. You're standing right at the nexus point. Oh! So we just need the overseer song. I already figured that out. You did? Wait, what? I got a lot done while you were busy being useless. Oh. It's the lullaby your mom used to sing you. <gasps> oh! I already know that song! Yeah, total plot twist, I know. So I just have to sing it. That's what I'm saying. Ready when you are. This can't be this easy. Did we just spend the whole day moping around, working, throwing coals into the fiery pits of hell, while Miriam did all the work? Well, I'm glad she feels useful now, but where do we go? Can we talk to Miriam again? Well, come on. Sing your mom's old lullaby. Aha. Our colors have changed. The sound of our voices changed. It's a lot less warm than before. I can barely hear his singing. This is all your fault, Audrey. This doesn't sound like a lullaby. It just sounds like random click clanking. Uh. Uh. I don't think that worked. It didn't work. Ah. Uh. The nexus point is blocked. It's all these disgusting clouds in the sky. Guess I wasn't useful after all. Don't be like this now. The smog is definitely coming from the factory. We have to find a way to shut it down. Oh, come on. Stop looking at me like that. Seeing you like this is making me mad. I, for one, am not gonna sit around while the hero prances around killing the overseers. So get back in there and help me figure it out. How to shut down the factory. Okay, Miriam. We're still gonna try to save the world, but I don't think Kelb is... I don't think his whole heart... Ooh. Why? I don't think his whole heart is into this. What is this place? The observatory? There's a note on the door. Gone to dinner. Aha. Uh -huh. So maybe we have to visit that in the morning. We're going deeper and deeper into the woods and I don't like this. Hello? Oh, okay. So I'm guessing... Nope, there's no actual tree there. I thought that the overseer tree would be there, but nope. Clockwork pub? Is this the diner or is it different? Oh, oh, hello. Night shift? Well, ain't you a little sweetheart? Something to drink, huh? Like juice? Um, no. Tanya, what about you, good sir? Do you have anything to say? Let's go find the diner before 5 a.m. Diner! 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 Happy kid. Creepy, creepy, happy kid. Doggo! We're probably wasting time petting this doggo, but it is never a waste of time to pet the doggo. Diner! Diner! Cleaning lady! Aha, Beth's Diner. There you are. Welcome to Beth's Diner, open. <sighs> 24 hours a day. You want some grub? Yeah, sure, let's eat some grub. Go ahead to an empty seat and eat it. You. I don't think we made it. I don't think we made it to see the person that's supposed to be here. So this is Kelb's hometown. Oh, Miriam, tell us what to do. 
Sheesh, it's cold out here. Any progress on shutting down the factory yet? I can tell you rumors about stuff in town. Not like I have anything else to contribute. Tell me rumors. Apparently there's an astronomer outside town. They have a big telescope. So who knows what kind of stuff they know, right? Maybe you should try finding them. I'll just keep wandering around here. There's our clue. Let's try to go and meet the astronomer. Hi there. Oh, you're the person, right? Hello. Uh, hi. I haven't seen you around town before. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Elara, the astronomer. <gasps> we were looking for you! I've been observing some interesting celestial activity. Which is... The stars. One by one, they're going out. <gasps> what? Unfortunately, with the factory's smog output, I can't see flapping whiz bats in the sky anymore. Pardon my language. So I can't continue my research on that phenomenon. Instead, I've taken to watching the town. Plotting. Subterfuge. Subterfuge. Do you have a plan to destroy the factory? I can see you don't have much to say, so I'll just keep talking. I've figured out how one can shut down the factory. I just need a cohort. I'm a cohort. I'll do it. I'm impressed. Nobody's taken me up on this yet. We need people on the inside to help us. We'll have to recruit them from the people of this town. Specifically, people who are awake during the day but unemployed. I need your help to find them since I live nocturnally. If we gather three such people, we could infiltrate the factory. And use this diner as a nightly meeting spot. Good luck. I guess we're planning a revolt on the factory. Time to find some cohorts. You! I know you're unemployed. Have you seen that doggy that wanders around town? She's all alone, just like me. I try to pet her every night at 9.30 p.m. Right in front of the clock tower pub. But she won't let me. Even a lonely dog won't be my friend. What do I do to make her like me? Aha, so that's your problem. If we help you with that, you'll probably join our cause. And this is the pub. So at around 9.30, you're gonna be here. Right. Anyone in here? What about you, Vlad? So, do you want to overthrow the factory? Um, I thought this question might come someday. Let me say this. The factory may be an evil place, but the Baron is not an evil man. At least not when I knew him. It was always his dream to build this empire. And I cannot stand against the dream of my friend. Alrighty. You have some values. So 9.30 in front of the pub. Gift house? I doubt you want to join, but let's try. Happy kid, it's just like pure joy in the form of a kid. Wow, buy it. So we can't really ask any of the employed people. What about you, Miriam? Got any more clues for us? Well, anything? I met an astronomer from here. She wants to shut down the factory too. Perfect. So what do I blast? Yeah, can't we just blow the whole place up? Huh? She's a scientist, right? So she knows where to hit to knock out the whole system. What do I blast? Ah, uh, well, we aren't blasting anything. Oh, we're gonna get sad people from around town and mess it up from the inside. Oh, okay. I like my plan better, but I guess we'll do yours instead. Well, let me know. If you want to hear rumors from around town, or something, not like I have anything else to do. Tell us a rumor! There's that sad guy on the roof by your house. You know, constantly playing music. He seems depressed. Maybe he'll help us. Aha! That sad roof guy seems like your type. All musical and mopey. But how the heck do you get up there? Alrighty, we have another clue. So let's try to talk to that guy. Maybe... Hmm. We find a way to fly up there. We can maybe talk to him. And at 9.30, we'll go and talk to Winston in front of the pub. So how do we get up there? I say... Hmm. Can we enter any of these buildings? 
No, can't enter here. What if we jump up here? No. But we can keep going. Jump over here, jump over here, jump over... Mask? What are you doing up here? Well, hey now, Wanderer. It's been some time. What are you doing here? Hmm. I don't know. Hey, you don't have a job. Do you want to help overthrow the factory? Nah, that isn't my pace. But thanks for thinking of me, huh? Well, nice seeing you again, Mask. We're just gonna keep jumping on over here and then reach the guy singing on top of that house. Jump! We make a jump. We make a jump. 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 And now we talk to you. Hi. Hey. You seem sad and aimless. Wanna um help overthrow the factory? Drawn in by my sorrowful music, were you? It's no show. I play from the heart. I play for a city. Its heart replaced with machinery. Cold as the snow that falls upon it. And for love unrequited. I cannot bear to face her. But I have written my feelings in this letter. Please deliver it to her. She stands in front of the factory every day. From 11.30 a.m. to 6.30 p.m. I know because I can't take my eyes off her. And I don't even know her name. I guess we'll deliver this love letter. What's in here? Ah, oh, we just go down. We found a roof shortcut. Right. And I think we missed Winston petting the dog. Let's see if we can catch him by the pub. Winston. 11.30. So, who is the person that stands in front of the factory? Wait, what? Miriam? Miriam? Is it really Miriam? Wait! He has a crush on Miriam? It can't be. What do you want? Uh... Well, I have this letter. Oh my fucking god, it really is Miriam. For a girl standing here at this time. Uh... So it's for me. Uh... I guess so. What is this? This is... Oh! Miriam! Gross! Oh, I've got an answer, all right. Take this back to him. And don't read it. Uh, Miriam. Well, at least she didn't, you know, resort normally to, like, blasting him. Gave him a reply. A strongly worded reply. My dude, I'm back with a response. Peter? Um, I have a letter for you. From her. Uh, yeah. This is... Amazing! Wait, what? What? She's agreed to meet me! Oh, um... Oh, wait. She also said, don't tell the weird bard. Uh... That's definitely me! Alas, already I have broken a promise. But what is a love that doesn't know second chances? Um... Every moment without her is pain. Uh... I await our meeting with continued sadness. Though slightly less sadness than before she agreed to meet me. That's cool! Does that mean you'll help us? Also, wanna help overthrow the factory, maybe? Please? Yes. We have meetings in the diner every night. I will be there. Hooray! We found a member to join our cause. Now, let's wait until 9.30 and see if we could help Winston pet the dog. It is 7 p.m. and we're over here by the clock tower pub. Alrighty, so let's just wait. Fast forward. Alright, it's almost 9.30. Where's Winston? There he is. Hi, Winston. Can we help you pet the dog? Also, this guy is kind of like blocking your way. 
Come on. Come on. Let him pet you, little doggo. Oh, the doggo wants food. I see. Where do we get food? What do you want from me? He wants food, my dude. Hmm. All right. So Winston, he went inside. Let's talk with him. Winston. Oh, everybody's here. Why is everyone here? Oh, the happy kids. They're here. But first, Winston. I come here every night, but I don't know why. Nobody wants to talk to me ever. Everyone in this town hates me. Do you... So, do you want to overthrow the factory, happy kids? Wow, yes. Wait, what? You do? I wish, but I need this job. No matter how much I hate it, it's all I got. So we need to go get some food. Do you guys have any food? Do you want to overthrow the factory? No, my muscles deny you. There would be nothing left without the factory here. I intend to work there until I become the Baron someday, ha! Huh? Katya? Hey, I remember you from the gift shop. I hate it there, but it's a job, I guess. Tanya? Do you want to overthrow the factory? What? Do you even know what you're saying? The factory is everything here. Just mess nothing without it. Be careful where you say stuff like that. So we need to go find Winston some food to give the dog. Where do we find that? Do you have food? Beth? You go in a lot of mental circles working this job. Saying the same two walls, say the same thing to same people. You want some grub? Yes, we do. We want some grub to give Winston. Go ahead to an empty seat and eat it. Nope, we're gonna take this back to Winston because he will be able to feed the dog and it will let him pet him. Winston. Oh, hi. Here you go, Winston. <laughs> that food smells good. Dogs like food, right? Can you bring that somewhere for me? I want you to be waiting at 9.30 p.m. in front of the clock tower pub. And don't forget to bring the food. I have a plan. All righty, Winston. All righty. So we're gonna wait here by the pub. Fast forward. Okay, Winston, we're here. We got your stuff. Now, how do we give this to you? Hey, you actually came. Can I have that plate? Please. Here you go. Feed the good boy. Feed the good boy. Make a friend. There we go. You made a friend, Winston. You made a friend. We. We're friends now. Ah! I forgot what this felt like. Cool. Also, do you want to help me shut down the factory? You mean the factory that ruined this whole town and took all the jobs so that I had no choice but to make happy kid or be alone forever? Uh, yeah, I think that one. Yes, I will help you. We meet at the diner every night. We now have a second person that joined our cause. Why can't we just get Miriam to help us? Miriam, where are you? I've looked all over town. Are you in mom's house? Hello? Mi oh, fuck. This is where you were all along. Miriam, come on, we have a factory to overthrow. Need help finding people to shut down the factory? Just one more. Mm. You're on your own with this one. I can't think of anyone. But you're right here. Everyone in this lousy town already has a job. What about you? What? No. Come on, Miriam! What? Why can't you help us? Why me? Because you're the only one left. Yeah. Real flattering. Glad to be your last resort. Mom, can you help her out? Hey, Mom. Do you want to help overthrow the factory? Do ho ho! That sounds like fun! But your mama is too tight for that kind of action. Those days are behind me, Muffin. You'll have to find some of your friends to help you. Good luck. Miriam, come on. You know, this used to be my adventure. Just me and my grandma, Safi. But ever since you showed up, somehow I never get to do anything anymore. Even though I'm the one with the magic powers. 
How do you think that feels? She probably thinks I'm useless. She trusted me so little she asked you to help me. And then, you basically proved her right. How do you think that feels? I, well, it's exactly how we feel. I think I know how that feels. Like when I found out someone else was a hero, it made me feel so pointless. I don't belong in an adventure. Yeah, except you're obviously useful. You sing us through every problem. You're obviously useful. You can fly and you always know what to do next. And you saved us back at the Queen of Chaos's castle. Somehow, hearing that from you doesn't make me feel any better at all. Me neither. But that's why we gotta do this! Together! We gotta prove that we aren't useless! We can't do it if we don't try! Okay. Fine. I'll help. This time. I'll see you at the nighttime diner meeting. Aha! There we go! We recruited Miriam! To the diner! Alright, everyone's here! Aha! You've done it! We have a suitable number of recruits for a subterfuge. Yes, soon the factory will fall, and the city shall be free from the shackles of industry. Yeah! <laughs> so, all we need to do now is take up jobs in the factory. We have to destroy it from within, or at least disrupt its basic order. If we take up positions on the factory floor, we can work together to do that. I'm excited! It will be the dawn of a glorious new day. Comrades, let's join together! And lead this city into the light of a factory-free world! Yeah! Uh-huh! -ha. Uh -huh. That may be going a bit too far. But I appreciate the enthusiasm. Let's take up jobs in the factory and then take it down from within. Yep, Back down this creepy walkway. Down this creepy walkway. Hey, guys! Good luck in there. We've all got your back. Ever since you showed up, my life's gotten so much better. You gave us direction, a sense of purpose. And for this, you have my thanks. Yeah, thanks! Now we descend into the belly of the beast and claim this city back. From the clutches of this dark machinery. Yeah, what he said. Good luck, guys. Everybody's working a job. We're just here. Minding our business? I think we have to throw the coal at Elmer. Oh. Oh. Okay. The secret code! Activate! Start sabotaging my dudes! What are you doing? Dancing like that. Start sabotaging the place, my dudes! Um, that's not so much as sabotaging that it is just playing a trombone, but okay. I'll just get that zone. Start sabotaging! Please? Uh, he ain't doing shit. Hmm, we have to go over there? Alrighty. I wanted to throw a piece of coal at Elmer. Up we go. We gotta go find the Overseer, and then save him from Audrey. Oh! Oh! Even more people are joining the cause! More people are joining our musical cause! Even people that we didn't recruit! You, sir! Do you want to join? Take down this factory! Aha! You're joining us! The people that didn't want to help us at first are now trying to help us. Anyone over here? No! We gotta get all the workers to revolt! Revolt with us! Viva la revolucion! Let's go! 
Any more people that want to join? Up here. Everyone's playing music. Everyone has their own musical instrument. Uh-oh, excuse me. You rapscallion. You've caused quite the disruption. Mr. Baron will want to have a word with you. Uh, Mr. Baron? Now move right along to his office. Mr. Baron, can you help us save the world? Please, let us see the overseer. Oh, hi. Hello, Elmer. Mr. Baron is just up these stairs. Hee <laughs> hee, you must be so excited. Bye, Elmer. I hope we never see you again. Lots of lights going up here. Baron? Are you as bad as they say you are? Hello? Baron? Oh. Nice fireplace you got there. Oh. So, ho, ho. You're the one who disrupted my factory. I'm very disappointed in you. When we allow someone to work here, we are making them part of our family. Why would you let this family down? Because we want you to shut it down. Shut down the factory? Yes. How could you even suggest that? Ever since I started this business, I've worked tirelessly to bring joy to people. And Happy Kid is my greatest work. It's the best toy. It brings smiles to everyone. But the world is ending, that doesn't matter. Why would you want to take that away from the world? Do you hate joy? If you think Happy Kid brings joy, then you don't know what joy is. Everyone in this city is hurt by the factory. It's big and noisy and smelly. Nobody even likes Happy Kid. It is just a toy. But our lives are ruined making it. It brings no joy at all. Oh. Uh. Uh. What's happening? What was that? It's done. Wait, what? I shut down the factory. Wait, just like that? All I wanted was to bring joy to people. I thought Happy Kid was finally the answer. But I can see it is not. Perhaps in my absence, the world has changed. Or I did. But whatever the reason, it, if my factory isn't doing its job anymore, I have to reconsider its purpose. Um. All of you, leave the way you came. I have a lot to think about. But Baron, well, it was nice that he that he actually, you know, helped us out without making a big ruckus. It still kind of smells out here. But hey, you did it. The factory's finally shut down. I totally believed in you and stuff. And I totally believed in you, Miriam. Ah. Okay. I'll be waiting outside of town. When you're ready to go see the overseer, come meet me. Let's go outside town and then meet Miriam. We have an overseer to save from Audrey the hero. Miriam! We've come to save the world! This nexus point is called the Annual Lights. They're nice, right? Now hurry up and sing so we can meet the overseer. You want to leave with me? Yes. Oh! Um, but aren't you? I mean, aren't you gonna miss? The sad roof guy? Who liked you? No. Okie dokie then. Miriam is finally joining us on an adventure. This time, I'm gonna stand right here next to you. It's a ride in the spirit world. So what's it usually like in there anyway? The one time I went was after the Queen of Chaos died. So it was all dark and empty. Usually it's all magical and full of puzzles. Huh. Well, perfect. This time I'll help you out. I can probably blow us through that stuff instantly. Well, okay. Mm-hmm, that's some foreshadowing, but okie dokie. 
Let's sing the lullaby. Do we just hold this note? Now this actually sounds like a lullaby. To the spirit world we go together. Oh. Why is it so red? Miriam? Um, hello? Miriam? She's not here. This is very, very ominous. Miriam? Overseer? Are you okay? Overseer. Aha. Uh -huh. Right. Up we go. Jump. Jump. Avoid those. Avoid that. Avoid that. Oh fuck. Up, 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 Right. Head down. This way. What's this? Oh, you can stop time. Can we rewind it? We can rewind it. Aha! Let's just jump over here. God damn it, jump! Up we go. I really hope the overseer is fine. Hmm. Can we jump up there? Jump! Up! Oh shit. Over here. And over here. Oh shit, oh god. We got crushed by that thing. Boy that. Boy that. Boy that. Go through over here. Avoid all of these. This place is very, very dangerous. Ah, god. Ah, I'm trying to get through. Okay, we're here. Hmm. Pass this over there. Up here. Up. 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 What? Up. Way is blocked. Oh god. Wrong way. Wrong way. Wrong way. Up. Hmm. Wait for it. Up. Wait for it. Up. Right. Cross over here, through here, go over there. Rewind. Make it go that way. Jump on this, th oh God. Wait, what? Where do we need to go? But that goes down now. Hmm. Maybe we have to go back. Let's wait for this to go by again. Go over here. Wait for it. Go over here. 
Wait for it. I'm not going to have Fade and Dutu at the same time. Over here. Again with this part. Huh. Avoid those deadly things. Now we're back here. Do we go this way? We do. Right. So. Rewind. Jump on over here. Aha, wait. Jump on this. Oh god, I got smooshed. I got smooshed. So we're going on over here. Okay, we're gonna jump on that. Rewind. There we go. Now where do we jump on next? Aha! Uh -huh. That's a bit of doom. Ah! Pause it! You can't pause it! Whoa! Whoa! Get over here! I don't wanna get crushed! The oh, fuck! Rewind! Ball here. Jump on over to the crevice. Make our way through. Change direction. Jump over here. Jump. Uh, yes, there we go. Up we go. Jump. There we go. Onwards this way. And that should be it. Woo. Hmm. Do we go down or up? Let's try up first. Up here. Up here. Aha. Uh -huh. That leads nowhere. So we need to climb up on that thing. Reverse. Reverse. Jump. And then jump. Jump over here. Go through here. Go through here. Jump. Onwards here. Jump over. Whoopsie. Whoop. Ah. There we go. Overseer, we've come to save you. Oh, snap. Oh, fuck. Right. You go down. Ah! Whoo, okay. Oh, shit. Don't you bake me like that. So what's the pattern? Ah, okay. Rewind. Aha. Uh -huh. Go, 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 go. Jump. Jump. Just jump, forehead. Jump over here. And you have this thing. Aha. Uh -huh. Climb up here. Hmm. What if we try making it go faster? Okay, now that's really fast. Aha! I see. Whoa there. That is way too fast. Reverse, reverse, make it slower. What if we do it the other way? Just wait for it. Onwards, onwards. That's way too fast. That's also way too fast. Way too fast. Pause, please. Thank you. Make a run for it. Pause, pause, you assholes. Thank you. Overseer! 
Wherefore art thou? And what's that? Boss, come back. Forward. Wow! So we jump here. Avoid this. Avoid this. There we go. Pass this way. Ah! Last room! Last room! Last room! There we go. Speed up! Time stop. Whoa there! Uh, time slow down. Time slow down, please. Keep that slower. Ah! Okay, I get it. Go this way. Jump this way. Go there. Oh, stop. Stop, stop, stop. Alrighty. The water go. Go over there. That leads over there to where? Might as well try. Oh, fuck. Okay. Hmm, that goes over there. Ah! Oh! Ah! Please do not kill me. I will stop time. Oh. Oh, no. Audrey! Audrey, Overseer. Can we try the reverse time to before Audrey killed the Overseer? Open this up. Audrey! Audrey, I swear leave that Overseer alone. It has done nothing. Hello? Overseer? King? Queen? Whoever? Oh. Hello there. Hello! Are you here to see Her Highness Queen of Order? Yep. Is she here? Well, of course. She's just ahead in the throne room. Oh, great. Then, I'll just go on ahead. Wait just a second there. Do you have an appointment? Um, no. Hmm. Well, that isn't going to work. We'll have to schedule one. Oh, no. How long will this take? I'll need to ask you a few questions. What's the purpose of your visit? I need to learn the Earth Song! Ah, um, sorry, that's not one of the options. Is your purpose personal or business? Personal? Business? Personal? Okay! How big is your party? Have you seen Miriam? Um, no, sorry, I have not. So... So should I put you down as one? Make it two. Okay, two people. Why can't I just go see her? Well, that's against the rules here, bucko. We're almost done. How do you take your tea? Ah, cream and sugar. Oh, tea with cream and sugar. Okay, that's all the questions. Oh, great. Can I see her now? Not yet, but she might be dying. You need to wait in line. In line? Yes. Where is the line? It's here. Now, wait! You know, the more time we waste, the more chances the queen is already dead. Can we dance? We're just gonna dance here. Waiting for a turn. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. Right. You're just jamming to the groove. Can we go see her now? Please? Please? Are we just supposed to listen to your jam? Yeah, I can dig this, but the queen is in danger. Can you let us through, please? Please.
Please. We're gonna be very patient and just let you in. Nice, it's your time to see her now. Oh, thank God. Follow me! Queen! Queen of Order! I hope she's alright. What's going on here? Oh no! Queen! Oh, your highness, Queen of Order. Oh, she's alive. Why aren't you seated at your throne? We, we have a visitor here and you're completely out of place. <laughs> See for yourself, darling. Wait, what? Oh, is that? Oh my goodness. What is he doing here? It's the King of Dreams. This is so improper. So you're an overseer. <laughs> yes. Huh. You seem so normal. Hmm. All the other overseers were like magical animals. <laughs> Humans are animals, darling. She has a point. Oh yeah, I guess. You know, at this precise moment, I'm supposed to be having my tea. Little Order has such a way of getting himself distracted. One moment, please. Why is the King of Dreams here? Oh, he gonna get fucked. King of Dreams? Dream King. Mm -hmm. Hey, Order. Why have you come into my castle? The hero came by mine to kill me. And I kinda wasn't feeling it. So you ran away? I guess. That's the way to put what I did. You could also put it as, I decided to get out of the castle a bit. Come visit an old pal. Isn't this nice? How are you doing this? No! This is completely out of line for an overseer. We have a duty, Dream King. Yeah, yeah, I know. We're all old and corrupted. Turning into horrible monsters. Our time to go. Yada yada. But I really don't want to die. Even if it is our job. I don't think I can do it. So, what am I supposed to do? <laughs> you do what is pro- oh! No! Audrey! Hello, boys! And Bard? Looks like I finally found you, Dream King. Thought he could get away from me. You just delivered me a twofer instead. Go wait! Why? Why are you doing this? Just let the overseers live! The world doesn't have to end! Don't be ridiculous. If we let them live, we'll enter an age of darkness. Nightmare on Earth type stuff. You can run around singing stupid songs all you want, but someone has to take charge and save us. And that someone is me! Oh, 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 oh. what? What was that? Oh! <gasps> Miriam! I can't believe I was the last one to make it here! You just saved the Dream King's life, Miriam! Why are you both getting in my way? The Overseers are not on your side! I'm the hero! Literally chosen by Aya! Okay. Okay! You want it that way? You got it! Oh shit, a fight! Uh, are we just supposed to stand here and watch them fight each other? What? Stay back, Kel. Let me sing! You need battle music! Um, where can we go? Let's save the Dream King while they're fighting. Order Fairy? Your Highness! Oh no! Dream King, come on! Just teach us a fucking whole song! Mr. Dream King! Did you really give up on fighting the hero? Do I look like I want to? No! But so, maybe now it's time for you to teach me the Earth Song. Oh man, you really don't get it. Oh shit. When overseers give up their song, we're giving up the pure part of ourselves. Speeds up the process of becoming a monster. Basically, it's just another way for me to die. But if you do, the world will survive. 
Sure, with one tiny problem. Oh. This hero might be a lunatic, but she was picked by Aya, and her killing me is part of the plan. Whereas you are a nobody. What's the point of throwing away my life? To entrust the Earth song, which has never been sung, to you. Because... Because I already have two pieces of the song. And if your choice is between letting the world end, or saving it, you have to pick saving. Even if it's just a maybe. Or I can pick option C. Survive. Don't get killed by any heroes. Or sacrifice myself for any bards. I think that is my choice. Really? Dream King! Guys, please stop fighting. Gasp, pant. I'll get you after I catch my breath. Forget about it. You losers wasted enough of my time. The Dream King already got away. I hope you're proud of yourselves. But when he goes dark and starts making problems, don't come crawling back to me. At least we saved him from your lunatic ass. Wow, Miriam, you stood up to her. Pff, she's not that tough. Only cause you're tough as nails. I'm glad you came, Miriam. I wouldn't have made it without you. Let's get the song piece. Let's channel the dead spirit of the Queen of Order. No, so, Queen of Order. Where's the crown? There's her crown. Queen. Queen? Oh! Okay. Hmm. Beep. How do we do this? Oh, wait, what was that? Ah, we don't sing, we dance. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. 